I'm JC, the developer and creator of Thinkorswim Toolkit and TradingView Toolkit, the author and instructor for Pro Trading. This is an introduction to Forex trading and understanding basic chart information. The most beneficial way to get started is to start over. To begin again, we need a whole new beginning, a new darkness, an empty void with no false preconceptions. And now, a new, more transcendent, transformational illumination of the unknown, the first life. So when the concept of trading enters into the consciousness, we need to perceive the concept correctly. Trading is capital management. That's a simple precept. Trading is capital management. Capital is a resource, an asset, a tangible quality used to produce, to increase, to be fruitful. That's a spiritual concept. Management is a practical, intangible quality, which is the culmination of virtue, ability, and knowledge. The new consciousness now understands trading to conceptually imply a utilization of one's virtue, ability, and knowledge to improve the qualitative value of capital by increasing both the amount and the value of the asset called capital. That's the complicated, real definition of trading. Manage capital to increase the value and amount of capital. That's trading. The standard trading chart is information about capital, the value of capital, and capital performance. Information on the chart is a combination of continually changing data and conditions of capital productivity. News news about capital. There is an old fundamental trader joke that the fundamental news and economic data are on the chart. And this is fundamentally true in a fundamental sense. The chart is news about capital. Just think about it. Today, on the chart, price is moving. That's news. The current price is 182.74. That's news. The price opened at 180.93. That's news. Price moved higher. That's news. One of the reasons price moved higher was a change in data and conditions. That's news. This or that changed the data and conditions. Now that's socioeconomic political interpretation. It's not news. News is information and observable data not interpretation. So the news is kind of boring, empty, void, darkness highlighted on the screen. Any interpretation of the news is socioeconomic political analysis, pseudo news, fake news really. This is the opinions, theories, ideas, propaganda, supplemental arguments, supporting graphs, and a real beast in the darkness hiding in the highlighted areas on the screen. The beast that is always wrong. Accurate interpretation of and response to the news is productive. That's capital performance. Real news-driven activity. So the news is the empty, void, boring information and data that must be interpreted. That's the beast. In order for the interpretation of data and information to become news, in other words, a part of the information and data on the chart, the interpretation of and response to the initial news must be productive. The interpretation of and response to the news on the chart must produce capital performance. Now finally, there is a socioeconomic political perspective that contributes to the news on the chart. A light. A light in a dark place. So explanations about how data and information changed is dark noise, not news. Interpretations of and responses to news must actually produce capital performance and create new news. A foundational understanding of basic standard information on the chart is essential. So return to the blank screen. Start over. This is a new beginning. It's boring news. It's just information in the darkness. But in that empty void, there is a way to rightly interpret 
and respond to that information and data that creates better information. Now that's good news. And if there is a resulting capital productivity, that's great news. So let's light up the boring dust on the screen. Price, the value in capital quantity. The bid, the price for selling. The ask, the price for buying. There's always two prices, always. A higher price to buy and a lower price to sell. But think about it. Intriguing? Because the number one principle of trading is to buy low and sell high. And yet the offer or ask is at the higher price. And the bid or take is at the lower price. The values between the two is called the spread. So the price must move to overcome the spread. The spread exists to create a market of changing value to determine a price of exchange. The market of changing value assesses the gains or losses of capital to determine an increase or decrease in the principal value or the value of the currency relative to the price. So what the U.S. dollar is worth in market value is determined by capital gains and losses. And the price is determined by the value of the dollar relative to the price and the price and value of a closed exchange. Or once an open trade is closed, the initial trade to buy or sell is opening a trade. The closing of the trade returns gains or losses to the principal currency. So the screen is blank, and then all of a sudden, a candle appears on the chart. When we look at the candle, what do we see? The candle has an open value a close value, a high value, and a low value. That's the candle that we see. The candle colors illuminate each candle that appears on the chart. So from the blank screen, we know where we start, where we end, how high we go, how low we go. And whether or not the close is above the open or the close is below the open. If the close is above the open, then the candle is green. If the close is below the open, then the candle is blue. So we know whether price moved higher from open to close or moved lower from open to close. We know how high it moved and how low it moved. These highs and these lows define the range of each individual candle over time. This range is the market depth. The market depth tells us how far the market actually moved from low to high or high to low. The candle colors tell us whether the market moved up or down. The means of participating in the market, trading, requires order entry. This is the execution of buying and selling exchanging capital based on its performance. To open a trade or to close a trade, we must select the quantity of the position we are taking. 10000 is equivalent to $10,000 of capital. That's called a mini lot. Typically, we can trade $10,000 for less than $500 of our own money. That's leverage. But leverage is really a bond, just inverse. It's an inverse bond because the capital structures provide the $10,000 and we as traders guarantee the return of that $10,000 every day, just like the principle of a bond. 
So instead of giving the economy $10,000 and hoping it produces a yield, the economy is really giving us $10,000 to produce the yield return or capital gains. And it always gets its principal back, all $10,000 every day. Our leverage, our capital guarantee, is the amount required to guarantee the return of the inverse bond. If we lose money, then it requires more of our capital supply. If we produce capital gains, then we earn more capital supply. A full lot is $100,000 or 100000 in quantity. The returns per pip or point are based on the size or quantity we trade. So 10000 returns $1 per pip and 100000 returns $10 per pip. Now we can buy or sell whatever quantity we choose to leverage. But remember, the buy price, the ask or the offer, is always higher than the sell price. The bid or the take is always the lower price. The difference between the two prices is the spread. That's the small value in the center of the order entry seen here. In order to profit or create capital gains, the closing price of our trade or exchange must move beyond the distance of the spread from the value of the opposite order to our position in the direction of our opening order. So if we buy at 112.86.1 as displayed here, then, we, then the sell price must move beyond 1.2 pips from 112.84.9. So our closing order must be greater than our ask price. The bid must move from 112.84.9 to 112.86.1 or greater. That's the only way to really execute winning trades. And that's the best way to start. That's a whole new beginning to really execute winning trades. This is only the beginning of the new beginning. The screen is blank, and then the screen is decorated with all kinds of information, from candles to basic order entry, from spreads to winning trade executions. The amount of news and information on the trading platform is tremendous. Training the consciousness to understand it correctly is essential. So begin training the consciousness to know and understand the basic information and the conglomerate of news on the standard chart and execution platform. When managing capital, the value opens at a certain price point. That's where it starts. How low it goes is important. How high it goes is important. The range between the highest value and the lowest value is important. The market depth is important. In order to execute winning trades, the market depth must be enough and the range potential must be enough from the price of trade entry to actually surpass the spread and win on the trade. Where price closes is important. Executing the correct order to open a trade is important. Executing the correct order to close a trade is important. In order to best manage capital, the practical and functional components of actively trading must become an accurate, conscious process that is generated without, that is without a step-by-step -step thought pattern or checklist. The more one knows the basic concepts and standard chart and platform functions, the less one has to think about it. Train the consciousness to manage capital. Information does not need to be managed, only understood properly and applied correctly in the consciousness, the spiritual, mental realm of the intellectual treasury. Learn it. Understand it. Know it. Use it. Train your consciousness to acquire and use the information, the news, without thinking about it. Capital performance is dependent on one's own conscious performance. Train your consciousness to manage information automatically in collective synchronization from the very beginning.
I am JC. Return to the blank screen. Now, let your light shine.